how do I eradicate discrimination without being discriminatory? How do I eradicate racism without putting my own prejudices in place while I'm doing right. that? Mm -hmm. How do I eradicate poverty without having right. poverty in spirit for how I treat mm -hmm. other people? You know, how do I eradicate militarism without going at, to war with people who I say are militaristic? What do I do to ensure yeah. that I'm not contributing to the things that I say I want mm -hmm. to eradicate? Mm -hmm. What do I do, Professor Ashad? I'd like to offer uh, two uh, techniques that anybody can adopt. And they're get easy. ready for these action steps. Get ready for the action, action step steps. Action steps, and they two are simple. Here. They are simple. One is when you encounter a point of view that challenges your own, ask out loud to the person or people with that point of view, tell me more. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Mm -hmm. Those three words, by the way, social science research has shown those three words break open everybody's vulnerability. Because if your other was expecting you to push back and even lash back, what you've just done is surprise them. What are they going to do with that? You're asking, mm -hmm. tell me more. But you got to be sincere. Mm -hmm. You might think they're crazy. They're kooky. They are off kilter. And you may be right. So I'm not saying have no judgment. No, you're mm -hmm. human. You're going to have judgment. But instead of deciding that all they are is crazy, and kooky. When you offer the invitation, tell me more. You're saying, I'm still listening. Mm -hmm. uh, you've still got the floor. You may not have it for much longer, but you still got it now. So please use it. And I assume nothing about why you believe what you believe. So tell me more. Uh-huh.